Hey guys, Andy here, and today on Andy Talks Japandy, I'm going to be talking to you about the people I left behind to come out to Japan. Coming up. Alright, and we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here. Welcome to a brand new episode of Andy Talks Japandy. In today's episode, guys, I'm going to be talking to you about the people that I left behind to come out to uh, good old Japan. This video is a video response to uh, one Mr. Kurt Bell from the Softy Papa channel. I watched one of uh, Kurt's videos recently talking about his experience coming back to America and just the people that he left behind from his old life when he was out in Shizuoka, Japan. And it really inspired me to uh, kind of talk about my own experiences of leaving people behind. As you guys know, I was in the US Navy from 2010 to 2015. And during that time, I've uh, made a lot of friends, a lot more than uh, most introverts, I'd say. Sadly, a lot of them have kind of come and gone from my life. That being the, uh, the nature of the beast, as it were. With uh, being in the Navy, you get a lot of people who uh, come and go from commands. You know, they get transferred to elsewhere or they end up getting out of the Navy. In some cases, you yourself are the one getting transferred or uh, getting out of service. And uh, during that time, I kind of learned to uh, make peace with the fact that, you know, just because my friends are my friends now doesn't mean that they're going to be my friends forever. And it's something that really took me a very long time to really come to, to peace with, you know, because I always maintained the fact that you know, my friends are my friends forever unless, like, something happens, you know? And with uh, a lot of social media out there, you know, like Facebook and, you know, Twitter and such, you know, it allowed me to still keep in contact with everybody back home or elsewhere in the world. But, as you guys know, long-distance relationships are pretty hard to keep going after a while. You know, you're able to still kind of keep in contact and keep on the up and up with what they're up to, but since you're not there, it's it's not re really uh, quite the same thing. And after a while, you just tend to grow apart from people. But thankfully, thanks to social media and uh, other circumstances, it's also allowed me to reconnect with a lot of old friends too. Like uh, my, uh, my best friend, Eric, also known as Ariopolis. Like I'm wearing his, his shirt right now, in fact. Twitch.tv slash Ariopolis. There's your plug, Eric. <laughs> But uh, in any event, just knowing that just because your friends may not be your friends forever doesn't mean that they won't be your friends forever, or at least for a pretty long time. You know, for me, when I came back to America in 2015, after I got out of the Navy, it was very hard for me to transition back to just being a regular dude back in America. And uh, it was very hard for me to, to connect with people, which is one of the many reasons my transition out of the military was so rough on me and you know I didn't want to open myself back up again to other people you know with the knowing that uh, friendship doesn't always last forever and that you know if I put in all this time and effort to get to know a person and to hang out with them and share some moments and bond with each other that you know eventually either they're gonna leave or I'm gonna leave and it'll seemingly be all for naught. But I think that's just uh, part of the human experience, you know? People come and people go. Coming back out here to Japan has uh, really helped solidify that with me. When I came back to Japan at the end of 2019, I was really, in some ways, kind of surprised, uh, pleasantly so, that a lot of uh, my old friends from back in the day would uh, even give me the time of day, you know, after I came back. And that's kind of, it's kind of shitty to say. It's not, it's not an indictment on them at all. It's just, just my own like neuroses, I guess, with uh, thinking about how, well, if I left people behind, then they left me behind too. But really, you know, the mark of a good friend is someone who, even if you haven't like talked with them in a while, that you can just, pick the conversation back up again, you know, once you do manage to reconnect. And uh, really, really glad and uh, appreciative of the, uh, the small friend circle that I do have 
And I know there's going to be uh, some people who come out to Japan either to study abroad, like myself, or uh, come out here to work, or whatever the case. And you know, they're going to be afraid of leaving their circle of friends behind or their family behind. But I uh, just want to let you all know that it's perfectly okay to, uh, to feel that way. And that, uh, you know, thanks to the wonderful technologies that are available, you can still keep in, uh, keep in touch with everybody. The reality is that, yes, there are going to be some people that you fall out with just based on the distance and everything. It's just life, basically. But uh, put forth some effort to uh, keep in contact with people. And with family, you know, like, shit, I can talk with my mom on my cell phone, like, right now, <laughs> you know? Um, even though I'm thousands of miles away from where she's at in Ohio, you know, I could say, Ohio from Japan. You know, I think back to uh, my main inspiration to even come out to Japan, which uh, were my cousins, you know, back in the early 90s, they were stationed out in Yokosuka. And I just remember as a kid, they would, uh, you know, call every once in a while, long distance, at like three in the morning, our time in Ohio. And, you know, we just talk about what's going on over there and just about school and TV and whatever the heck else was uh, going on in our lives back in the day. You know, to see how technology has evolved and has allowed us to uh, stay connected in some form or fashion, even though it may not be ideal in some cases. But uh, just the fact that we even have these options is, uh, in a word, tremendous. So, shout out to Kurt, Kurt Bell from the Soccer Pop channel. Glad he's making videos again. He kind of dropped off there for a little bit. I guess he was writing a book or something. But uh, it was it was good for me to uh, to reconnect with him as well as his friend Molly from the uh, Molly's Place channel. They both kind of stopped making videos for a while, and I had to like resubscribe to their channels to uh, figure out what was all going on with them. Didn't really know how to end it here. <laughs> I'm just kind of rambling and raving, I guess, just outside here at uh, Tamagawa or Tama River out here in uh, good old Japan. So anyway, with all that said, guys, this is the Andy San. I'm signing for now. And as always, and forever, we'll see you next time. Catch you later, guys. Bye. <laughs>